friend rising from Jamaica. We're in St. Mary. We're still at the Vital Frequency Retreat. Greetings, everyone. Oh, we've got good connection today. All right. I do, before we start, because previous live I was talking about how we live in a world filled with gases, all right? And we need to honor the fact that our breath is controlling 70% of the gas within, right? So if that's happening, what do you think is also happening to our environment in terms of information? Like I said, when you're inhaling, you're inhaling information. When you're exhaling, you're exhaling information. Don't believe me? Let's go over Schiller and Imaging. Let's see. Let's see if I can find it. There we go. Now, Schiller and, uh, Schiller and Imaging is a way to literally make the invisible visible, utilizing certain gases and atmospheric resonance. So here's a beautiful display of Schiller and imaging and how our breath, when we're tapping and when we're doing all this stuff, how it's reacting to the atmosphere around us. So this is someone blowing on a match. It's gonna get crazier. <laughs> But if you notice around the person, look at even their aura, even their aura is, is showing in the imaging. And here are some gases coming off a of tea, someone blowing the tea, right? But look at the cup, look at the outline of the cup. And here is an empty glass, an empty glass <laughs> affecting, <laughs> affecting the atmosphere. So that's what you're doing when you are breathing in certain resonances, in, in certain atmosphere, if you will, that is literally what's happening within your body and outside of your body. And depending on the type of resonance you give, it's gonna be way more potent. So I highly suggest you find a treat for 30 days straight and still do the cardiac breathing. And over time, you're going to see how that tree is interacting with your magnetic field and your resonance over time. It's a great ancient um, practice, if you will, when you find a particular tree for at least 30 days, you sit next to the tree, you meditate with the tree, you commune with the tree. And over time, you're going to start to feel more of an energetic relationship with that tree. All right, so today we're going to be utilizing the eyes again in a different manner. And I want to remind everyone, it's great to be looking up most of the time. Because when you're looking up most of the time, what are you looking into? Space. You're looking into less cluster. And what, what does that do to your psyche? What does that do to your mind? Especially if you live in city areas. It gives you more awareness of space. Because as you perceive internally, it's also reacting as well. Where the eyes go, the mind go. Okay? All right. So, the basics is still the basics. On the inhale, you're sucking in the stomach. <laughs> Exhale, you're letting go. And the main point is to elongate your exhale more and more. You're gonna have your right hand on your belly button, your left hand on your heart. So you're gonna look into space, look up. Especially, again, if you live in the city, doing this will shift your stress levels. Just that alone will shift your stress levels. It will also shift your breathing. Because when you're looking in the city, what are you seeing? You're seeing cluster. You're seeing a lot of, a lot of chaos, if you will. Right, but the more you look up, especially if you work in the office, that alone shifted uh, hateful letters. When I worked with this one company, hateful letters to the CEO to a more um, respectful atmosphere, <laughs> if you will. And that was only week one. 
we didn't in, even integrate you know we integrate a little bit of breathing here and there um but the aspect of getting everyone to look up is huge so on your exhales we're going to be tapping continuously long as you can and you're going to be looking up and you're going to be continuously blinking but then when you inhale you're going to have your eyes closed and then when you exhale you're looking up and you're tapping all right you're doing that so again right hand on the stomach left hand on the heart and you're going to go at your own pace you don't have to follow me but whenever you hear the whistle that will be the cue to bring your hands together relax and I'm also gonna tell you to keep on blinking and you're still gonna keep the breathing going and going all right so right hand on the stomach left hand on the heart and we're gonna start in three. Oh, let's talk about position real quick so you can do this sitting down you can do this while walking actually when you're if you're doing this while walking on your inhales you want to be still just stop inhale and as you exhale continuously walk and tap blink 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 and I would highly suggest this doing it in the Sun of course I'm about to get my sweat on and also if you're sitting down sit on the edge of a chair keep the spine up and the whole time I want you to have the tongue on the roof of your mouth you don't have to stretch it just place it on the roof of the mouth to close the circuitry and also close off the monkey mind that's what it's also doing as well I've done many different brain tests just showing that tongue on the roof of the mouth you don't even have to stretch it just having your tongue on the roof of the mouth creates more focus and really close off the random chatters of the monkey mind all right so eyes closed starting with the inhale going at your own pace right hand pure nasal breathing tongue on the roof of the mouth and we're gonna start in three two one let's go
bringing the hands together in gratitude, still blinking on the exhale, looking up, still inhaling, sucking in the stomach or sucking in like a straw, pure nasal breathing, tongue still on the roof of the mouth, keep on going. <laughs> Thank you all for sharing the breath on day number nine, all the way from Jamrock, Jamaica. How we feeling? Leave your comments, leave your experiences below. And remember, you can utilize this randomly throughout the day. You can go longer if you'd like. That's the beauty of parasympathetic breathing. Someone was talking about uh, another style of breathing that this guy's going around the country, etc. But at the end of the day, if you can't, utilize it randomly throughout the day is it truly sustainable all right guys that's the main point sustainability parasympathetic homeostasis you don't always need to shock the body all the time the body naturally gets shocked in many different ways even hitting the sun you know it's technically a stressor right being in the sun is a it's a natural stressor a shock already for your body in a certain sense you know, a lot of people think of it in a different way, but no, it's still a stressor. It really is. Even the heat. Relax, thankful for peaceful vibes. Thank you. Oh, much love, guys. We're on day number nine, almost ten. Like almost a quarter done. All right, so leave your comments, leave your questions, leave your experiences, and remember to have fun peace and harmony guys if you're in the members group or if you're a subscriber check out the scalar movement and cardiac breathing playlist it's a little bit different because we implement scalar movement in this regard uh, this one is going to be very very different <laughs> for the scalar movement so i'll see you there peace